हेलो ए वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू हैव ए नाइस एंड सेफ्टी टू ऑल माय व्यूअर्स आई अगेन विश यू ए वेरी वार्म वेलकम फॉर ऑल माय व्यूअर्स ओके इन दिस वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अनदर स्मॉल टॉपिक दैट इज रिलेटेड टू इवोल्यूशनरी सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ रेप्टाइल्स एंड a part of it we'll discuss here that is about origin of life oh sorry origin of reptilia as the continuous process as the continuous process is going on it is seen that a uh, fishes fishes give rise to amphibians amphibians give rise to reptiles from these reptiles avs have been generated birds finally birds give rise to mammals hence it is true to of our knowledge that these amphibians give rise to reptiles and it has been estimated that these reptiles evolved from amphibians uh, during carboniferous period it happens during carboniferous period it was the time of evolution of amphibian into reptiles okay during this period that means during the carboniferous period at this period the amphibians were in water bodies the amphibians were in water bodies amphibians were aquatic during this condition these were aquatic okay from this water bodies they directly migrate to terrestrial they enter into land why and how they do not exploit the whole arid climate due to certain necessity from the water they enter into land okay they cannot exploit the total arid habitat suppose this is the water body this is the nearby land amphibia sorry the reptilia can remain here the amphibian can this remain near the water bodies because they have certain requirement what were the requirement they require water for egg laying require water for egg laying and water is also essential as a habitat for the larval development due to these processes they remain here okay they never enter into deep of arid climate they remain at this specific region okay the ancestral amphibians ancestral amphibians became reptiles then what would be the characteristic due to which these are converted into reptiles what are the basic characteristics let's see first some of the evolutionary features of amphibians which divert them into reptiles okay some ancestral a repetitions exist here what happened the body covered by epidermal scale epidermal scale what are to preventing water loss with respect to water loss the reptilia during origin evolved scales okay the skull became monocondylic 
condylic from dicondylic okay dicondylic two occipital condyles found in uh, amphibians like this the bones remain here but in this case single occipital condyle okay so uh, here single occipital condyle found monocondyle condition what happen it can move smoothly on surface okay for the flexibility of movement it happen for flexibility of movement atlas and axis atlas vertebrae and axis atlas and axis permits call movement at a different direction okay the limb and girdle bone became stronger limb and girdle became strong bones but the legs are originated from the either side of body appendages on either side of body so it help in creeping creeping type of locomotion okay the vertebrae fused at the sacral region to support body weight sacral support okay sacral uh, support by fusion of two bones the limbs are pentadactyle pentadactyle limbs penta means five five digits in, digits in the limb okay the lungs became efficient for respiration okay lungs lungs for respiration Achha. next the uh, it was about the uh, respiration excretion takes place by kidney okay next to excretion then it is seen that the development circulatory system consists of incomplete four chamber okay three chambers in a heart instead of four because the ventricle is not completely developed incompletely developed okay then another important character that is the internal fertilization internal fertilization takes place okay the eggs okay cell and larger egg the next character embryonic membrane amnion corion allantois these are present so these are called as uh, extra embryonic membrane okay so uh, this is all about the feature for which the amphibians become reptilia okay then what about different ancestors of reptile let's see about its ancestors there are 
सैवन टू एट एनसेस्टर्स तो फर्स्ट एनसेस्टर इज कटिलो सावर ओके दिस कटिलो सावर दिज आर प्रिमेटिव स्टेम रेप्टाइल प्रिमेटिव ओके प्रिमेटिव स्टेम रेप्टाइल्स ओरिजिनेटेड ड्यूरिंग कार्बोनी फेरस दिस सेम कटिलो सावर देन नेक्स्ट टू फारापसीड फारापसीड इट हाज सुपेरियर टेम्पोरल भैक्यूटी सुपेरियर टेम्पोरल ओपनिंग ओके फारापसीड देन सिनापसीड ओके इट इवल फ्रॉम मिड कार्बोनी फेरस पीरियड फ्रॉम मिडिल एज ओके दिस डेवलप मामालियन कैरेक्टर्स रिमेम्बर इट मामालियन फीचर्स नेक्स्ट दिस थेकोडंट ओके थेकोडंट्स डेवलप फ्रॉम Saurosid ancestors, Saurosid. Okay, so these are lizard-like. Next, Saurisian ornithia. Saurisian. Okay. So these are lizard-like. These are lizard-like. Lizard-like amphibia like this. It is also lizard-like. But these are bipedal or quadrupedal. Maybe bipedal or quadrupedal. Okay. दिज कन्सीस्ट अफ हर्बिफोरस अंड कार्निफोरस एनिमल्स हर्बिफोरस और कार्निफोरस एनिमल दे नेक्स्ट टू दैट इज ओर्निथिया ओके दिज ओर्निथिया दिज आर बार्ड लाइक वेर द pelvic girdle is larger pelvic girdle is larger uh, having ilium ischium and pubis bone like man like man like skeleton okay ornithia these are herbivorous or carnivorous maybe tero दिज अ फ्लाइंग और ग्लाइडिंग डायनासोर दिज अ ग्लाइडिंग फास्ट रनिंग इंडिविजुअल्स ओके दिज हिमाटिक बोन्स डिजिट्स आर एक्सट्रीमली लंगर लंगर डिजिट्स ओके सो टेरोसाउरिया कन्सीस्ट अफ लंगर डिजिट्स ओके सो दिज अल अबाउट दि आनसेस्टल फर्मस अफ रेपटाइल्स ओके सो वी हाव अलरे डिस्कसड अबाउट ओरिजिन इवल्यूशन एंड आडाप्टिव रेडिएसन अफ दिस ग्रुप ओके थैंक यू ऑल